welcome back to Hordle. Tonight is round five of the Southern League and Open. This isn't the weather conditions we normally have. You probably see that the beach shelter is not moving at all. We've got a very slight offshore wind, so it's almost like there's there's no wind at all. Uh, there's the sea behind me. Hardly any movement whatsoever. Um, so tonight we're starting at 8 o'clock, fishing till 1 in the morning. And I think particularly the first two hours are going to be very difficult. Um, after dark, the reason we're really here is, going to, is for small eyed ray, but there'll be dogfish, there may be some smooth hounds. But I think it's going to be a struggle in those first few hours of daylight. So tonight I've got a lot more variety of rigs than I'd normally bring and a lot more variety of bait than I'd normally bring. So for after dark, I've got, uh, I've got my usual sand deals. I've also made up from some um, um, sardine and squid uh, cocktails. So that's, that's the two main baits for after dark. I've got a few peeler crabs in case those hounds do turn up, but I've also gone out digging uh, which is not my favourite activity, and I've got blow lug, I've got maddies, and I've got a few white rag as well. So we'll start off for the first two hours, having a bit of a scratch around, maybe start out, you know, maybe 20, 30 yards out, see so if there's a bit of a gully there, just with small worm baits. Um, then, yeah, you may even try a big bait down there if there's a bass running along the beach. And then I also want to try like 50 or 60 yards out with the worm baits, see if there's any place or, or soul around. And then after it's dark, there's a, there's a sandbank about 70, 80 yards out. So after dark, it'll be those fish baits and sand deals. <laughs> Not with my casting. But anyway, that's the idea. Out over behind the, um, the sandbank for after dark. So there in the mist, you can see the needles. And just to the left of the needles is Allen Bay, where you've probably seen Dylan from Frugal Outdoors uh, fishing some of his matches. So as I mentioned, bigger selection of bait tonight. There's, I haven't got all the bait out at once, I want to keep it cool. So there's a few blow lug out, there's my maddies out, uh, a few peeler crab defrosting. I didn't get many white rag, they were just really a byproduct of digging the lug, but they'll do for the couple of hours of daylight. Um, and then all the fish baits, I'm keeping them cold um, until after dark. And these are not the conditions we normally find ourselves match fishing in, certainly nothing like we've had so far this year. It's absolutely glorious, although it does mean there's, there's families down here um, making the most of the water and the nice weather. And why not? We've all got to share this, this facilities and share the sea. Rig-wise, I've got more than a, more of a selection than I'd normally have. Um, and I, I colour code. Uh, it, I don't know if other people are interested in this, but um, all my Pompey Loop rigs are on red. So there's three different varieties of Pompey Loop rig there. Um, some two hook, hook pompy loop rigs with size one o's on for those ray and dogfish after dark um, and then i've got some three hook uh, pompy loops with some smaller hooks on which i'll try um, when i'm fishing that sort of 50 60 yards out my the orange ones are always my three hook clip down the blues i've only got a couple of blues and that's for me scratching the blue ones are, are not they're just flappers so that's two up one down um unclipped and then I've got some real oddities on the far left in the sort of green, dark blue and, and the pink. Some, some real odds and sods um, in case I want to fish in the gutter for the big hook, um, say, um, with a mackerel head on or a whole squid, see if there's any bass running around. So I wasn't really looking forward to tonight because I was a bit worried about drawing a high number peg and having a long way to walk along this beach. And I'm not very fit found that out at Cogden but tonight I drew peg eight which is right at the bottom of the stairs from the car park and it is a fabulous evening so I don't care if I don't catch anything well, of course I do um, but this is a really nice night 
couldn't have chosen a better peg. Um, and it's also a really nice night because there's not much wind. Really nice night for filming. So if one of you would like to pop into my house and pick up the SD card that I left on my desk, uh, that would really help. That not eight. So that's what a Maddy bait looks like. I've got a size 6 hook there. I've put one Maddy up the shank and then four just on the point of the hook, just through the head. And hopefully we get lots of movement from that. So because it's so calm and I'm not fishing very far out, I can fish the rod quite low. Um, and that keeps all three of my snoods close to the bottom. It's quite nice fishing like this when you can, especially when there's a good number of small fish around. But at the moment, and we're only half hour in, but at the moment I haven't seen anyone catch anything. And we're all trying different things. Some people are hitting it as far as they can, get the other side of that bank. There's a few people like me scratching around close but I've not seen anyone get anything yet so an hour in and it is really really nice down here um, so this the water's even more the water's even calmer than it was earlier um, but I've not seen anybody catch a fish yet um, yeah, there's some really good anglers around me uh, some of them are hitting it at distance. I've dropped really short this time. I'm only about 30 yards out. There's no point doing the same as everybody else if everybody else isn't catching. Yeah, you just sometimes get those fish run up that sort of gully right close to the shore. So why not? If there's no one's catching at distance, I might as well try in that little gutter. It is very, very quiet. Well, two hours in, and I still haven't had anything. I've seen two dogfish come in, one either side of me. And I've heard reports of a couple of hounds from 
the other end of the beach. But very, you know, not not a lot coming in anywhere. Um, and you can see by the way that rug bent over, there's quite a lot of tide. So I've gone back to, I say gone back to, I've gone to fishing at distance with the fish baits on. My, my sardine and um, squid wrap on one hook and the sand deal on the other. I might go back to scratching if, it, if the fishing doesn't pick up at distance I might go back to scratching. Well three hours in and it's still really quiet I've not had anything I've not even seen a bite and there's still only two dogfish have come to the beach anywhere near me. Um, it's difficult to know what to try um, when no one's catching anything. Uh, I did the first two hours sort of scratching I, I, and that was you know, sort of from 10 yards out to 70 yards out. Tried all the different ranges. Um, the guys either side of me were fishing at range that whole time and they didn't have anything. Um, in the last hour we're all fishing at range now and they've had one dogfish each. So it's very, very quiet. Well, everybody around me is fishing at range and getting nothing. So I've gone back to scratching. I think most people along my um, section are blanking. So if I can just pick up a little bass or even a pout. And a pout would be good because tonight there's, um, there's always a chosen species. And tonight's chosen species is pout, so there's a prize for the longest pout. Yeah, that's, that's I know that's desperate, but that's that's what I've got to. Shh, don't tell anybody. But I think I just had a bite. A little tiny rattle. So um, it's 11 o'clock now and I've still not caught anything, that bite didn't come to anything. But as nobody else is, is catching, I haven't heard of anything for at least an hour, um, I'm going to persist. Um, I said it's, a, it's as good a plan as any. So I'm, I'm back on the Maddies, I've got a couple of um, white rag and some blow lug. Um, I'm back to scratching around, try a few different ranges. Um, and I'm going to start tweaking it as well, you know, cast it out and every few minutes move it a few yards. If I can just pick up, so few people have caught fish, if I can just pick up anything, um, it could make a lot of difference in places. Well, barring a miracle, that's my last cast out there now. There's been nothing caught anywhere near me um, for about two hours. Um, normally if I don't do very well I sort of feel down about it but tonight I'm feeling okay because I just don't think they were there to catch. I've, I've tried everything, I've worked quite hard. They, if they're not there you can't catch them. So you know fingers crossed for the next 10 minutes but um, I think that's the lot um, and we'll go, we'll go back up and we'll get the results tomorrow. I think people have done a little bit better, better the other end of the beach but not a lot. So let's see what happens. So sorry this is a week late, but I've had a stinky cold all week. Um, the match obviously didn't go as I would have liked it to have done, but I did my best, I tried everything, and a lot of people blanked. In my zone of 21, there was 10 people blanked. Most of the people that did catch only had one fish, uh, mostly small dog fish, and the winner only had three fish. So the results are, in zone A, Nick Hater with £10.10, .10, followed by Daz Newland with £5.14, and in third place Russ Preston with £4.02. Zone B was won by Darren Stevens with £6.08, uh, second Dave Lane with £6.02, third Malcolm Stoke with £5.10. So the largest round was the pound of £7.02 by Nick Hater, his total catch 
was the hound and two dogfish. There was no flatfish caught, so that price rolls over. There was no pout caught, so chosen fish pool rolls over as well. Um, and next month, towards the end of June, we're going to be back at Chesil Beach. So see you next month, Cogden, Chesil Beach.